hello welcome to my channel I'm just checking um, how well reticulum mess chat is able to send uh, voice audio from one node as they're called to another it's going via the internet through a little relay interface that I've built and this is encrypted audio and the data rate maximum is 3200 bits per second which is quite slow so of course the audio quality is not going to be studio hi-fi quality by any stretch of the imagination um, so what I've got here this is the uh, mesh chat program which is going to receive a message from the node with that name which is a laptop <clears throat> next to this machine on my desk this is the debug output in the command line interface from mesh chat and you can see different announcers arriving and things happening this is OBS I'm using to record the video and I'm keeping it where I can see it so that I know it hasn't stopped recording so what I'm going to do is just say hello from the other machine first of all to make sure that it works so I just typed hello on my laptop there we are someone sent you a message it says and it pops up here it's pretty quick and remember this is uh, going through a TCP IP type connection <clears throat> an Ethernet connection we're not talking about LoRa radio here so um, <clears throat> What I'm going to do now is I'm going to record an audio clip on the other machine. So I'm going to start it now and I'm choosing a codec of 3200, which is what you choose on the sending end of a link. We'll see a phone call later on. And so it's recording audio and I'm going to stop it from recording. So that's stopped. And then to send it, you have to type at least one character in the text field, press enter and it gets sent. And there you are, you see it's popped up over here. It says up here someone sent you a message. If you click on it, it doesn't usually change much. So if this uh, mesh chat is in the background, it doesn't bring it to the foreground. Not yet. Perhaps that's a future <coughs> implementation. So anyway, here's the message. Audio message received. What I'm going to do is turn down my microphone here. Um, well, actually, I don't need to. I've got no speakers, so I won't. I'm going to click on this. Choosing a codec of 3200, which is what you choose on the sending end. Of a link, we'll see a phone call later on, and so it's recording audio, and I'm going to stop it from recording. Choosing so that was the uh, audio language, message that was sent as a small file the from the other mesh chat link, machine, we'll and hopefully you on. could hear that. And um, so um, what I'm going to do now is to try to calling this this machine from the the laptop that you can't see. So on the laptop, I have to click on Open Phone, which is this uh, button here on the other end. Then I have to no, I don't. I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to use the three dots menu here, which is and use start a call. So I'm on the other machine now with the other hand. I'm doing start a call. And then you have to click initiate call. And the the destination field is already filled out, the LXMF address. So, oh, here, someone is calling you. It warns me if I click on it, it doesn't do anything. But you should notice, let's make this a bit bigger, down here there's an incoming call. It's not yet been answered. So you have to click on the green button which opens up this little window, still hasn't answered the call. Don't click that because that will initiate a new call, which you don't want to do. You want to accept this incoming call from this LXMF address. So you click on accept and there it is. Um, so I'm going to turn down this microphone and talk into the other laptop. So now I'm talking into the laptop the sending end, the initiator of the call, and hopefully the audio is going to be recorded and I think I can see that it is being recorded, so that's good. Let me just uh, turn that off and stop any starting. Now I'm back uh, on the microphone here. So um, hopefully you could hear the audio coming from the other end. And it's a two-way call. I'm not going to try and demonstrate it two ways. That was using a codec of 1200 set on the transmitting end because only the transmitting end um, <clears throat> you can change. If I change this here to 3200, it doesn't... Um, change the quality of the received audio on the system it changes the quality of the transmitted audio so um, that's not really relevant what i'm going to do though is i'm going to uh, do it again with 3200 so i'm going to make a another speech from the other end of the call which i'm going to uh, do by turning on the audio here, the audio here. and, and Turn off the microphone, so now I'm transmitting from my laptop again, the other end of the, the two-way call. This time it's using a codec of 3200, which I've sent on, which I've set on the sending end, which is not what's set here, because that would be when this end is sending. So um, 3200. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang up that call and then go back to my microphone. 
so here I am <clears throat> back, hopefully locally here, yes. Oh, um, it says, are you sure you want to hang up the call? You have to say, okay, it actually stops the call <laughs> from transmitting audio, but you have to actually um, press okay to make it really stop. You'll notice here that it's still sending data from this end to that end, but probably nothing's coming back. It's good to monitor these numbers here because then you know when you're in a call that there's data being transmitted and received. And you see it's very small numbers here, just tens of kilobytes. Okay, now I've killed it from the other end by saying, yes, I want to stop it. So you can see the, the low data rate. And um, what I often forget to do is to close this little window. And the problem is sometimes you get another call and you answer it and you get multiple versions of this little window opening and things get confused. So I find it works better if you close it every time and then wait for a new one to pop up when it's necessary. And here we are waiting for a call. So that's a quick introduction to the mesh chat audio features. First of all, sending a, an audio file that's pre-recorded, which has much better quality. And then <clears throat> making a call in the reticulum system is like a phone call, two-way, bi-directional, duplex call. And of course, the audio does sound like an encrypted <laughs> low bit rate audio link, which is, uh, yeah, um, sounds a bit old fashioned if you're used to listening to those things from a long time ago. So there we are. Thank you for watching and uh, please remember to like and subscribe.